In this video guide, we'll look at tasks that you should complete before you begin using your new laptop. You can skip to any particular section by using the chapters at the bottom of the video. Log into the laptop using your B number and password. Currently, PIN number logins are unavailable. This is a known issue and will be addressed once Microsoft makes a fix available. Close the Edge browser. This browser will open by default, but Google Chrome is the preferred browser for BISD. Click the Windows button in the bottom left corner and search Chrome. Click the profile icon in the top corner and choose Turn on Sync. Enter your email address and click Next. Then type in your B number and password for your portal. You may save your password here and then click Continue. You may be asked to verify your account using two-factor authentication. If not, you can then click the checkbox and hit Continue. And finally, click I'm in to turn on sync. Your BISD bookmarks will appear in the top left corner along with any other bookmarks that you have on your profile. If you have any extensions installed with Chrome, they may open new tabs. You can close those as we won't be needing to set them up right this minute. Next in the upper right corner, click to enable the printer logic extension. You may also enable the Adobe Acrobat extension. You can now close your Google Chrome browser. We'll look at installing Microsoft Teams in just a moment. Click to search and let's reopen Google Chrome. You can click to enable enhanced privacy. You can see you're now syncing. Right click on the Chrome icon in the taskbar and choose pin to taskbar so that it will remain there uh, moving forward. Next, we'll set Chrome as your default browser. Click the search button and type default apps. In the search apps box, type Chrome and then click to enable Chrome as your default browser. Click to go back to default apps and this time search for Outlook. We'll set Outlook to be the default mail to handler. Scroll down until you see Mail 2. It'll currently be set to the Mail app. Click on the icon on the right and choose Outlook and press OK. Next, we'll log into Microsoft Teams. Click the Sign In button and then you'll be asked to enter your username and password. This will be your B number as well as the password that you use to sign in to the portal as well as the computer. Once your login is completed, it will ask you if you would like to stay signed in. You can click the blue button at the bottom to remain signed in. You can then close Teams by clicking the red X in the top corner. This will minimize it to the taskbar. Next, we'll install your printers. To do that, in the bottom right of the taskbar, we'll click and click on the printer logic button to add or remove printers. Chrome browser will pop up. Click on your campus and then navigate to a printer that you need to install. When the printer finishes installing, you'll be asked to verify your Chrome account. A browser window may pop open. You can close it and then close Chrome. Next, we'll look at how you can access the BISD Software Center. To do this, click the search button at the bottom and type BISD Software. The BISD Software Center includes things such as document camera software, uh, 
and other programs that you can install without having to enter a support ticket. Finally, we'll uninstall the Microsoft Teams app that came preloaded on the computer. To do this, search for Teams and then find the lighter colored Microsoft Teams icon. Right click and choose Uninstall App. Finally, when you get back to your classroom, if you use multiple monitors or a projector, you may need to reset up your split or extended screens. To do this, you can right click on the background and choose display settings. If you click identify, you can identify the monitors that you have currently plugged in. If you would like to mirror your monitors, you can say duplicate these displays and it will display the same thing on both screens. If you'd prefer to split the screen or go into extend mode, choose extend these displays. You can change the order and placement of your windows by clicking and dragging to adjust the placement of the different screens. If you need additional assistance setting up your laptop, please reach out to the BISD help desk by using the BISD bookmarks technology support link located in the BISD bookmarks folder in your Chrome browser. Thank you.